Hello, EA group members. How you doing? Today, I'm going to look at how to build your website, your art website, that is. And we're going to go to the group, to International Artist Group. I'm on the group. If you're coming from YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, our group is right here at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash one two zero four three eight one zero five four eight three international artist group we're gonna click on files and we're gonna go to the new document I have created which is how to build your art website online store exciting okay first we need to get a domain name and a hosting company to host our website I'm going to go to hostgator.com I'm going to explain to you why this website is the best hosting company out there before I do that we're gonna get started now I'm trying to make this video short uh, okay here's the hatchling plan and it's a single domain you don't need unlimited domains one click installs awesome and meter bandwidth awesome sign up now and here we're gonna register a domain I'm gonna use um, a domain a type of domain name that a lot of artists use uh, it's easy to find on search engines I'm gonna type here art by Maria we love Maria and here we're gonna search and art by Maria is taken I'm not surprised that it's taken there is a lot of people with the name of Maria but if your name is Maria you're gonna add a hyphen here a hyphen here then you're gonna click here at the end press enter refresh it and it's available artbymaria.com there you go so now we have to go let's go down to the bottom see what the price is right now is 208 we're gonna fix this really quick I'm gonna insert here my coupon code which is Cavallo art I'm gonna validate this I'm gonna go up I'm gonna uncheck this I'm going to uncheck this I'm going to uncheck this we're gonna go up and we're gonna change this from 36 months to 12 months a year you're gonna have to create a username a pin you're gonna have to fill in this information if you're the owner of the site make sure you fill this up a lot of people have firms making their websites or other companies website companies uh, making their websites and what happens is that they create this this uh, inf uh, they fill the information with the hosting company so when you want to update your blog or you want to have a blog you have to go through them they charge you an arm and a leg and uh, they have ownership of your site legally so always when you create a site make sure if you're the owner to put your information that way you have complete control of your cPanel and your hosting company and you can update your website anytime without going through a third party now we are going to uncheck this make sure all these are unchecked and that this is a 12 months the hatchling plan make sure your domain name is on the green you can transfer a domain if you like but uh, you might have to contact your domain name registrar to change the servers or you can contact HostGator and they will help you with that all right let's go to the bottom and see now okay now I went down to $93.50 that's what I was looking for 
it's not gonna go any lower than that so now let's see 93.50 divided by 12 months that's seven dollars and 79 cents a month less than a pack of cigarettes in New York City so once you have this at 93.50 you wanna check this which uh, you, you are agreeing to the terms of service cancellation policy and privacy policy you got 45 days to get your money back guaranteed that's awesome thank you host gator so you're gonna check out that's gonna go through process through the um, e-commerce um, uh, checkout process and once you get that you're gonna get an email with your login instructions to your cPanel and I'm going to log in to my cPanel and here this is what the cPanel looks like when you first log in you have some tabs here or buttons some tabs here and some information of your domain name your renew date now you got a discount with my coupon code so the next year is gonna go a little bit up that 20 percent so it's gonna be 10740 so that will bring it to let's see 10740 divided by 12 it'll bring it to 895 a month and that would be your domain name with the hosting included So to install WordPress is really easy. Hostgator has really worked on their site. It's really awesome. Very easy to work with. You just go to hosting and we're looking for the WordPress one click install which is right here under hosting. You're gonna click on that. <coughs> and there you have it it's gonna refresh it's gonna look for the latest version of WordPress and here it is 4.6.1 you're gonna click on this arrow select your domain name if you transfer your domain name it might not be visible you might have to contact support and get that fixed here in directory you're gonna leave it just like that and you're gonna click next and if you get another button to click next to install just click it you're gonna be fine I'm going to show you now what the what the website is gonna look like once you have installed WordPress in your host gator and here's the link your domain name forward slash WP dash admin that will take you to the login page I'm gonna also open another website but this website is with another hosting company and I'm gonna show you why you need HostGator as your HostGator hosting provider now I'm here at Arbypia a website hosted by HostGator and we're gonna build on our website that is gonna have a template I'm gonna go through the template later I'm gonna go now through the WooCommerce system status very important a lot of people have this problem I'm gonna go to my other website hosted by another company and I'm gonna also click on the system status to load that up now I'm on a website hosted by another company other than hostgator.com and I'm gonna show you what the problems are with most hosting companies they might be a little bit cheaper some of them might be a, a little bit more expensive um, it's really um, what the PHP version that they're running it's uh, what is happening with some of these uh, hosting companies that they are not updated or they're charging more for that version of PHP now your PHP version has to be 
updated to one of the latest it's not the latest but it has to be a version that is compatible with the WooCommerce so you can be able to accept credit card that is uh, so people can actually buy on your website we're talking about a transaction online transaction uh, which is going to be integrated with PayPal now at this uh, website that I have A1A Studios hosted by another company other than HostGator it says here if your host does not support PHP 5.6 or higher we recommend you find a host that does and that's devastating because I will have to transfer my domain name to HostGator and that's gonna be a pain I'm gonna have to go probably contact support contact the the domain registrar and make some changes and uh, that's a that that's uh, the main problem because I'll show you why because your your online transaction is not gonna work if you don't have a more a higher version of PHP and I'm gonna show you here it has some errors some things are on the green like the memory limit is important a lot of things are on the green but as you go down this is fixable it's not a problem this is the the big problem here the card is not existent it's not working the checkout is not working and someone cannot create an account if, if they're gonna buy they're gonna have to create an account and my account is not working this here is devastating for the shop it's not gonna work that's why I cannot make an e-commerce site on this server I'm gonna show you now HostGator now this is rbypia.com I'm gonna be building this site this site all this is on the green the PHP version is in the green which is very important that's the most important thing this is an error that is for security purposes if you want to secure your website you can always add this site lock website security we're gonna look into that to see if we can fix that manually later all this is on the green all this is on the green this is another error that I got but it's very fixable it looks like we can fix it right here we can just download the zip and install it I'm gonna look at that later I'm gonna go back here is the most important part the API is enabled the shop base is available the card is available the checkout is available my account is available all that is in the green the WooCommerce support is in the green and it looks like all the WooCommerce files PHP files are here which is very important and that's that I'm gonna go back to the group and I'm gonna make another video and we're gonna install the Avada template and activate the WooCommerce all that on the next video thank you so much for watching have a creative day have a great day I'll see you in the next video